Hi, so how can you improve your ability to hear nasty clicks and pops in audio from this? To this. So let's go. Now, a while ago, I got an email from Streaky, a newsletter email, in which she explained how to easily hear clicks and pops in audio. Now, Streaky is a well-known UK-based mastering engineer, also with a YouTube channel, and I'll provide links to his channel and website in the description below. But I never actually tried out that method that he was describing in his email until recently. And I have to say that it worked surprisingly well. Now, searching a bit further for this technique on the internet, I couldn't actually find any other references. So I think it's not very common or well-known. So I figured let's share this with all of you so you can benefit even when you're not subscribed to his newsletter. So let's first have a listen to this audio without the technique to see if you can hear anything wrong with it. Sounds pretty normal, right? And by the way, this audio is from Streambeats and they provide copyright free music for content creators. So let's now apply the technique to hear clicks and pops better and see whether you can hear a problem then. Now the first step in the technique is that you want to invert the face of one of the channels in the stereo file. And I'm not sure that's the only way with a standard Cubase plugin, but I know the Mix 6 to 2 plugin provides this ability. This is actually quite a nice plugin for dealing with multi-channel audio, because it allows you to mix the channels of a multi-channel audio file, in this case 2, to a stereo output. So in this case it is set up for the left channel to go fully to the left channel of the output and the right channel to go fully to the right channel of the output. So you're basically hearing the stereo as intended. But if you really wanted to, you could for example also put the left channel of the file into the right channel of the output or even do it the other way around. Switch left and right channels for example. But all of that is just some additional information about this plugin because what I want to do now is I want to just leave it set to the default and I want to invert the face on the left channel. Now listening to the audio it will sound kind of weird. Very uncomfortable because left and right channels are now out of face. So it's a weird picture. The next step for this technique however is that you want to now sum these channels to mono. And again, I searched for a Cubase plugin that could do that, and I found the Stereo Enhancer. Maybe there are other or better options, but this plugin basically allows you to widen the stereo image of your track, which we're not going to use now. The only thing that we're going to use now is this Mono Compatibility Check button, which sums these out of phase channels to Mono. So let's now have a listen at what we hear in the audio. Did you hear that? At this position, 2.2. Let's have another listen. It's a very obvious pop or click that you can now hear. So let's have a look at the audio at that point in a bit more detail. And as you can see that region over here, it's clear that something happened over there because these are not regular audio waveforms like you see on the right channel over here. So there was definitely something wrong with the audio which you just could not hear very clearly when you played the audio as usual, but you could hear it much more easily after applying this technique. Now obviously this audio was not mangled when it came from Streambeats, but I actually added the mangling myself, just to have an example of a file with a clear click that I could use to show you this technique. Now I have to say this technique does not always work, you will not be able to hear all clicks and pops like this very obviously, but it did work for me quite well in a number of cases, so use it as you see fit and add it to your arsenal of technique and tools for this fine craft. Now if you like these kinds of quick tips and tricks for Cubase or audio engineering in general, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and you can ring the little bell icon if you want to get notified when I publish another video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can buy anything at these stores via the affiliate links in the description or use the super thanks button below the video. So a quick and short one this week, let me know how you feel about that as well. And if you really want to dig down into more details of Cubase, I have a whole playlist with Cubase related videos over here. So check it out, enjoy, and see you soon. Mm -hmm.